All right, guys, so welcome to the P Alpha Music Podcast. This is your host. There we go. Pablo Yoris Vargas. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and YouTube Rumble and be sure you listen to the podcast. If you listen to the podcast and Nanto Anko.fn, make sure that you share the content. I'm going to really appreciate it. This is episode 149 on the P Alpha Music Podcast. Host Pablo Yoris Vargas. Topic of today. Basically, uh, right here, there you go. Uh, check your ego at the door. Check your ego at the door. L- why Why I wanna make this topic of today about ego. I've been watching a lot of martial arts in the la- I'm a martial arts myself, okay? I did years of martial arts. So I have, I have, there's a side of my heart where martial arts is always gonna be there. And I'm scrolling down the YouTube channels and, and I read, I see something that is very particular from martial arts. And is that there's a confusing, confusing terms or confusing actions were regarding confidence and ego, right? Okay. Even though they, they reflect or they expressed themselves very similar. There's a huge difference. Let me explain. You gain confidence by doing something over and over and over and over again. You gain confidence. But what about if you feel so comfortable, so confident that your ego started getting to your head? All right. And something I notice is people believe that martial arts, there's a mystic to it, right? There's magic to it. There's a lot of things, right? And personally, hey, if that's your life, that's what you want to do, go ahead. That's your problem, right? That's not my concern. But I, 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 those things just remind me, right? The dangers of ego. And why, why I wanted to, to, you know, to name this podcast, check your ego at the door. That's a very common saying. Uh, you know, it basically leaving your daughter, your your ego behind. So why is it very important for us to leave the, the the ego behind, right? The important is that if you bring ego to everywhere you go, right, you're gonna feel very defensive to any conversation or any, any interaction that you have with somebody or someone, and that's very dangerous, right? Because nobody wanna be around people that are always defensive. I think this is uh, an interesting article. It's um, in Jabor Wilk. They define ego as uh, a number of ways. Um, uh, it's like a self-esteem. It's a, it's a sense of a self-esteem or self-importance. However, being egotistical is generally considered negative, while having a high level of self-esteem is considered positive. So he, he already started. Okay. Differentiate both, right? Ego and confidence, right? Like I said, uh, an egotistical person derives his or her worth from external factors. A person with high self-esteem will derive his uh, his or her self-worth by internal factors, right? So, ego, outer game, self-esteem, inner game, okay. So people, let's put it this way. Let's say let's say you go to a party. Okay? And you never develop social skills, you never develop a lot of skills or traits that will just derive you ne- it will describe you naturally as a very charming charismatic person. Now, you come to the party and you're trying to pretend. As soon as you start to pretend that's the ego taking over so now you want to pretend to be this charismatic a confident guy right or person what happened is that you start overdoing it so when you start overdoing it your body your mind gets very tired and all of a sudden by the end of the night we all know that your confidence is very low okay so you took you took part of the out of game pretending to be this confident guy Right, 
but inside the inner game your self-esteem was always low so because your self-esteem was low and the other side you want to overdo it okay you see so your ego take over right instead of just relaxing and admitting the fact that you're not that person see but that was that what a house of esteem person would do he will not pretend to be someone that he's not but your ego will your ego, ego will now there's stories about how ego is very important and how important it is in some situation personally i haven't found that i really haven't found if if i found it i have not acknowledged it okay i'm very naive about these topics right but personally ego has not served me a lot compared to self-esteem self-esteem has been more and more and more productive than ego let me explain why self-esteem has given me the the door to admit when do I need to be a student and when do I need to be a teacher a student means that I need to shut up listen right and just be attentive teacher when I need to just get that that knowledge and pass it on and see what am I missing an ego will not let, ever allow me that to happen why because I know everything right because I will just do everything by my own. I've been doing this for years. I don't need nobody to tell me how to do it. See, that's ego. And I don't see anything healthy on that. Unless, and let me play the devil's advocate in this one. Unless, whatever the other person is telling you what to do, you know is, or it is, dangerous for you. But that's one in a million. Now, the only way I can just put that in perspective is if people are trying to give you advice, but these people that are trying to give you advice, the people are not leaving those advice. So my, it might be that the ego in that case could be a source or resource that can help you. But I don't think that's ego. That's, that's the thing. I don't think that's ego. I think that's more a sense of self um self awareness that's one self attention um or self understanding of the current situation because of course you already got hit by hundreds of things on your life so therefore you have a clear understanding where to move from there you follow me? So, the purpose, the purpose of understanding that ego could be something that can destroy you or ego can be something that can help you, right? It has to be the term of how you see life or how you really understand life. But when it comes to situations where you need to come to a new environment, it's better to play leaving the ego at the door simple as that do not overplay and do not try to be someone that you're not right because at the end of the night you're going to end up being the real you so why not being the real you from the beginning i know your ego will not allow you but it's better to be yourself from the beginning and just let it be don't pretend to be someone to be likable from everybody and i used to make that mistake years back i used to do that mistake try to be likable you know trying to be just love lovable for everybody no 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 that's too much energy you're spending too much energy on people instead of being yourself and being lovable by who you really are or who you are you becoming to be right because wh who we are now it's just who we are now, right? Is a destructive. Let me see. How can I put it this? Who are we? Who are we becoming? Is who we are. 
Now who we are now is what the world mold us to be. So we're detaching ourselves from that and becoming someone. Becoming because the world has mold us to be something that we're not. So our job is to make sure that we found and construct ourselves to be better human beings. With this guys, this was episode 149 for the Piazza Music Podcast. This was your host, Paolo Yuris Varga. You know what to do. Make sure that you like and subscribe. You listen to the podcast on Anchor.fm on Spotify, other music distribution platforms. Make sure you use you share with friends, okay? With this